I've stepped it up a little bit today, ladies and gentlemen. We have Minicon here. He's live in the flesh. We've yeah. upgraded it a little bit from last time. We've been uh, talking a little bit behind the scenes. How's it? How's it? How's it in London? Um, London is cool. Honestly, don't go to Subway. <laughs> like, I don't know if it's just something I ordered, but it was horrible. Like compared to the Subway in the U.S. Yeah. But the other food that we got was amazing. I loved it. I don't, I don't know what the other place was called. Yeah, because we had the Amazon Fresh you posted down there. Yeah, the, yeah. the Amazon Fresh. Um, yeah, you just, have you been? Uh, I haven't used it, no. Oh, yeah, you just walk in and walk out. Damn, so, you pay, so, you pay, so you pay up here, like it's like all Amazon, but for food. I think um, it's synced to your uh, phone or something. Oh, right. Like, that's what I saw like on the YouTube videos, and it's synced to your phone, you walk in, and then literally it automatically charges you. That's awesome. And like you don't have to go to a cashier or nothing like that. Yeah. So y'all are like y'all are in the future right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. So right, we're preparing. We're preparing for the fight. Fights on Saturday, five mm -hmm. days away. And have you got any like message to all his arms, where you say that for a press conference? Uh, I don't. Like I, yeah. I have nothing to say to the dude. I'm gonna beat his ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's that simple. Like it's like I don't know. Like it's like I I want this to be like I've always, or like I've been saying in all the. Video. I want him to be at the best shape of his life. I want him to be tip top. Like I don't. I didn't want to take a fight that was easy. Like if I was fighting somebody the same exact size as me, that was inexperienced, just an influencer. Like that mm -hmm. wouldn't be fun. Like I'm not going in there trying to have an easy fight. That's not rememberable. Yeah. I'm um, here to really make a statement and um, really make content that's gonna last. Basically, yeah. if that makes sense. Yeah, because like if we have an all-out brawl where they're like, oh, this is really like a battle, yeah. then it's going to last. And the video, people are going to go back and keep on watching it. That's all I care about. Yeah. It's content. Yeah, see, have you, because Arms had an MMA fight last year. Mm -hmm. I watched it. It's it was the worst 40 minutes of my life. Horrible. I, I mean, I was bored. Because, you know, in MMA, like, he spent the first 30 seconds up on his feet. Mm -hmm. He threw like five punches. And after that, because he's like the size of the Hulk. Was it even 30 seconds? It was, it was about 30 seconds. And then, yeah. and then he was on the ground. And then for the rest of the fight, he was on the ground. Even yeah. at the start of each round. They're laying on each other like humping each other basically the whole time. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. exactly. And the other guy the other guy won, but it wasn't like it was nowhere near what you call an entertaining fight. Not at all. I yeah. honestly uh to be like hundred percent honest I never finished that fight. I tried to finish it probably like three or four times but I was just so bored yeah. that I could never finish it. And that's nothing against the dude, yo. Like it's just like me and him really have no real beef. But um if you're my opponent you're my enemy until yeah. you know until that last bell rings, it's that simple. Yes, yeah, I understand that. And also the other point I I constantly prove my channel is like, um, you know, you gotta you gotta look at like the, the people that are killing it right now. And there there is no heavyweight boxing boxing champions. There are no MMA champions. Like even in the heavyweight division that look like arms do. Mm -hmm. You know, like even Francis Ngannou. Yeah, he's but yeah he's buff, but like yeah. he's not unnaturally buff. And, he, yeah. and, and arms is kind of getting to that border where it's like, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So do you? Um, I don't know what. Are you planning for him to gas out early? I don't know if you can reveal, obviously, but... Oh, no, I mean, I don't care. Like, it's just, um, I really, I'm hoping, like I said, it's like I, I'm preparing to fight somebody at the top of their game. Mm. I'm preparing for him to be a person to where it's just like he figured out a solution to the gassing out early, yeah. and he's coming into it, and he has some secret, you know? Yeah. So it's just like, I'm not planning on him gassing out early. I'm planning on going um, the distance, mm. but... Um, yeah, it's just like, like I said, I, I made sure that I did everything in my power to, if he can go the distance, then it's just like, it's still not going to be able to compete with me. Yeah, see, I think, uh, again, watching that MMA fight, and you can't take everything away from that, but even from his Instagram, all his training seems to be focused on strength. It Bro, he's seems... lifting a tree. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's like, it's like he was you should... lifting a tree! I know, what? I know. Yeah. Everything is lifting, or everything is like, strength and conditioning. Yeah. There's no boxing in there, and um... Maybe he's just being quiet about it, but it just doesn't seem like there's much of that. It and just... honestly, I do think he is being quiet because I, I haven't been, mm -hmm. I haven't posted really. Yeah. Like we, as my coach, like we've literally yeah. trained every single day for the past two months, and I've post like I most of my stuff I post are throwbacks and people never seen me spar. Mm -hmm. um, after I started training, like they 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 haven't seen really anything, so I feel like um, he isn't posting as a strategy, but. From what he is posting, I still think he's not, <laughs> yeah. he's not focused on all the right areas, no, you know? you're right. Yeah. So, um, you're training with Tristan, obviously. He's no, I'm training, tr Tristan just... Um, um, sparring partner. Yeah, I, I spar with Tristan, okay. so I, I help work, or Tristan helps me out from time to time, but mainly um, 
Uh, it's a completely different gym than the okay. uh, my home gym, basically. Oh, I see. Yeah. Is Tristan coming over here to do a little bit of sparring with you? Uh, he's in he's in fight camp right now. So oh, I can, see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any um, like sparring partners that you plan over here? On the in the UK, no. Um, okay. Hopefully, you know, hopefully I get a light day in with somebody. But um, other than that, no, I'm not. I'm not. Okay. Oh, hey, um, so yeah, that's that's for Saturday, obviously, and then you also, I mean, you, you're a very interesting guy because there's a lot of elements to you. So you have your music. Mm -hmm. I I know you, you you did the two pack sort of style yeah, 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 yeah. on your Instagram. Um, is that sort of like a distract towards arms a little bit? I is don't, that sorta? Well, I know, <laughs> I know it is. I know it is. But that is specifically yeah, for yeah, that yeah, man, I, I literally woke up that day and chose violence um i literally thought i was like what's the like most memorable diss track and i googled it what's the most memorable <laughs> diss track and then i was like i always listen to tupac hit him yeah. up um so i i ordered i got on amazon ordered a mic like instantly right there <laughs> the mic next day shipping recorded it myself yeah and then i knew he wasn't gonna respond so i was already working on my back to back like as soon as i finished it yeah. tupac I was like, yeah, we're going back to back. Yeah, and this all spawned, and it's very weird, interesting way of spawn. So it all spawned from one TikTok you made. Mm -hmm. You know, to, I, so you were just scrolling one day, you just found like, you know, a picture of him and just. Yeah, so I you mean, hated. I'm a troll, yo. And I, I, it's not even, it was no hate. Like, it was just, my brother's a big bodybuilder and they have like a big team in Texas. And um, so it's like, I don't hate bodybuilders, but. I just thought it'd be funny. Yeah. I made content for a living. Yeah. So I just put it out there and then, you know, he had something to say about it. And then he tagged Showstar, which I was <laughs> like, well, what is this? Click Showstar and then, you know. Yeah. It was um it was set. I literally had a contract in my email a couple <laughs> of days later. So you won were you ever planning to come to YouTube boxing before? Yeah. Right. A hundred percent. I wanted to um my uh, after I watched Social Gloves. Mm. I was like, um, I prom I told him, I promised myself, I said, I'm going to be in the next big one. Yeah. Um, I don't care where it is. I don't care how I do it. I didn't know how I was going to do it because I'm not a big YouTuber. Like, yeah. Um, so I was just like, yeah, I'm, somehow I'm going to make it work. And here I am. <laughs> out, yeah. 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 So, okay. So are you, are you, have you been following any of the other fights on the card? Like, um, I haven't been seeing much from anybody except like you, uh, the Kenny and Dead. You see their stuff here and there a little bit, but yeah. um, I'm most excited for um, Salt Poppy. Like yeah. I want, I want to see him fight. And hello, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I actually got a chance to uh, talk to him for the first time today, and um, I DM'd him. I was like, "Yo, are you in London?" And he told me it's thirty minutes away. Um, and like he just he, like we just got a little background on him, so it was, um, it's it's just cool. Like. He, he's a cool dude and I can't wait to like see like because he he dealt with some controversy I'll let him tell mm -hmm. what he went with through his fight camp yeah so um yeah it's just like I, I just want to see him yeah Kola. yeah yeah see um I, I mean, kind of on that on that notion do you have any other like creators that you're gonna collaborate with like um bigger creators in London or in UK um I really haven't thought about it I've been thinking about arms yeah. every day <laughs> yeah. yeah, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't thought about it as much. Mm. Yeah. So, no, so you know, um, yeah, even if like running to Deji or someone like that. Oh, if I run into anybody, of course. Um, yeah. But I, yeah, it's whatever happens. I'm so organic. Like I'm an organic person. Like I'm, yeah. I'm a type of person um, that it's just like whatever happens in the moment yeah. happens. Yeah. You know. So. Um, it's whoever like if yeah. I, like and a lot of people are in Europe right now because of Fashion Week. Yeah. yeah. So um, yeah, there's possibilities that if I run into Drake, I'm gonna be like, <laughs> video real quick. Are you gonna do the thing? Um, I, I don't know if you see with Fifty Cent where it's like, I want a hundred bottles to see him. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was, are you talking about, uh, uh, that was did it to yeah. Drake too though. Yeah, yeah he did it. Yeah, that, yeah that dude. <laughs> he's, yeah. A, he's a New York influencer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So okay, so um, that's kind of Saturday and everything. Do you plan to like carry on after this, like later this year or early next year or something? Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I mean, I. Uh, being an athlete's my favorite thing to do. Like if you, if you like, um, if you ask me what I want to do for the rest of my life, it was just ath like athlete. Like ever since I was a kid, I always thought I was gonna be a football player. Yeah. Like, oh, be in the NFL. <laughs> and like I, it's funny because I, um, I opened my old journal from like back in the day, and it has like I have like a box of like all my stuff from when I was elementary school all the way yeah. up. What do y'all call it? 
Yeah. Um, uh, primary school. <laughs> Sounds like prison. <laughs> but, yeah. But, uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, I opened it and it was just like, oh yeah, I'm going to be um, in the NFL and if I'm not in the NFL, I'm going to be an artist. And that's what I wrote in like fifth grade. And then like, uh, there was another one that asked me the same question in ninth grade and I wrote yeah. the same thing. And I feel like, um, yeah, if I, if I would have continued sports in college, um, I would easily be in the NFL, but so it's just like, um, this is another chance of, cause I, I had some circumstances that I had to like leave, um, mm. in college, but this is another chance of something to compete in, um, yeah. athletically. And like I said, like I would do this for the rest of my life. Yeah. Day. See, so, okay. So you thought of, um, when you were younger, like, uh, if you weren't in the NFL, you'd be an artist. Mm -hmm. well, was it music or was it like, it was art. Okay. I, yeah, I was like, probably drawing. Like, <laughs> yeah, I was drawing. Like I used to draw. Like, and I have really bad ADD. So like, anytime somebody's talking, I don't care if it's in church or like um, mm. uh, uh, in school. Like, like you see my like notes. It's literally like I have like ten words, and then like the whole page is covered in like <laughs> yeah. crazy drawing. Because yeah. I always like go off and just like start doodling things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, I gave up on art too. Like that was it. Did you ever think about doing music or? Chris no, Cole. never. Even when I did it, when I made my first song, I they were the producer was trying to convince me because my um, my producer friend he's like a um, he's he's won like a whole bunch of plaques for he had a big ringtone company <laughs> and he had like the number one ringtone company for a while and that's like my really good friend. He was the first like like dude to make it out of our town like with real yeah. money. And um, he, I would always come over to his house and I'm always freestyling to all his beats. He's just like, bro, make music, make music, make music. And I was like, nah, bro. And then one time, I went viral for this thing, um, I'm trying to video. And when I went yeah. viral for the video, everybody commented on the video. They're like, you should make this a song. So I was like, of course, I hit him up yeah. first. He's like, all right, we'll make it a song. But I'm telling you, after you make this song, you don't want to keep making music. <laughs> and I was just like, whatever. So then I made this song and then, like, I still didn't want to make music. Until I got my first check, and I was like, I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. I, I guess yeah, music yeah, yeah. is pretty cool, but um, yeah, you know. Yeah, see, the I'm trying to sound bite has become quite a thing on your yeah. music. Like, you hear it in the background of every song, you hear in the background yeah. of pretty much every reel uh, or, or TikTok or whatever. So, mm -hmm. um, do you, where do you plan, like, this ends, or even, like, w like, where do you see yourself in five years with music or boxing or YouTube or TikTok or whatever? Um, I don't like I don't I don't look at that I just I just look at myself at the top like mm -hmm. I don't really um I don't see an end I just see it keep on going up I see myself as um the same way Kanye West saw himself the same yeah. way Jay-Z P Diddy DJ Khaled like I'm one of those it doesn't matter what I'm doing I'm gonna be at the top of it yeah um and that's as humbly as I can say yeah. like I don't that's not me trying to be cocky um mm. it's, it's just I don't I don't strive to be average at anything I, I like to do it's a blessing and a curse is I'm I have so many things that I'm good at and I like to do just everything yeah. so it's just like I like to do something conquer it and then like yeah. while I'm doing that then I'm gonna pick up another thing and do that at the same time too yeah but, um yeah it's just like I, I like to do everything yeah, <laughs> yeah. So do, you, do you have your sights set on any anything else you want to do after I don't know whether or after YouTube boxing is your next thing or whatever do you have a do you have a, a short list <laughs> I have to take over this first yeah that's okay. a, that's a the short list is to take over YouTube boxing but everything that I'm doing all goes in line yeah. so it's like the videos it's still going in line with this and music it all goes in line the boxing like it's all one thing it's a conglomerate of the brand of Minicon yeah so it's just like it's it all comes together and yeah. it's gonna all meet in the middle to where it's just like it's gonna be an empire yeah so um in pat's interview shout out pat uh in, in pat's mm -hmm. interview you said um you had your eyes set on francis and garney sometimes in the future mm -hmm. sometime in the future uh, do you like like i want you to talk a little bit more about that because i heard that in the interview and i think you know to a lot of people it was quite a, to a lot of people's surprise yeah um i like i said i want to be the best in anything that i'm doing mm -hmm. so um if it's somebody like that he's the best in the ufc right now um, or like, you know, one of the yeah. top dogs. So, um, I feel like in this game, you know, Jake's made it possible or Jake's made it like popular to call out UFC fighters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, that's somebody that I can train and I'll train my ass off and then, um, hopefully get the chance to like go and prove myself. Yeah. But, um, 
I like I, I don't <laughs> I don't see like I'm not scared of anybody. I don't see anybody to, to put in front of me that would make me. Yeah. Like, I, can't fight, <laughs> I can't fight that person. You know, no. Yeah. Like it's like all of this stuff is fun. I'm not a person that is afraid to lose in anything. I just am a person that never sees myself losing in yeah. anything. Yeah. I see. So, um, do you have anybody past arms in the short term, or are you just focusing on arms for Saturday? I'm focused on arms. Okay. Um, yeah, there's it's, it's one fight at a time. Like, I'm focused on arms and like seeing all my friends. Yeah. Um, that's it. A lot of my friends are coming out, so it's like that's my two priorities. Is, yeah. Um, seeing my friends and focus on arms. Honestly, seeing my friends and then arms. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just I, I I miss my friends. Yeah, it will yeah. be quite an experience, I reckon. Yeah. So, do you have any like uh, a song you're gonna release after you beat arms? Yeah, that do something that I've been teasing. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't. I I've been posting like the short excerpt of it, and then it's like I haven't like you haven't heard the drop in the verse. Okay. So yeah, it's it's a fire one. That's with Blackjack and another one called. Um, I wish I was different. Yeah, I wish I was different. Okay. Yeah, that one's like a completely different like vibe than yeah. anybody's ever seen Minicon. Like it's like slow song, like it's in my feelings, like so it's just like Yeah. See, yeah. when I was talking to you, you um you said you worked at Atlantic Records for three mm -hmm. years and you said you worked in influencer marketing. Mm -hmm. That's quite a I mean it's quite it's coming kind of quite handy obviously mm -hmm. because now you can you take a lot of those skills. Like um so what what really were you doing there? Like would do, were you at shows and stuff and were you Directing people to, to collaborate with others. Or yeah, I did everything um, like that. Like uh, I did influencer marketing. I was focused on the influencer marketing side. We brought influencer marketing to Atlantic Records mm. um, four years ago. They said we were crazy. They said that who are influencers? They said that um, why would we pay these fans to be a part of, um, or why would we pay these fans to support an artist that they're already fans of, and all this stuff. And then my friend, um, he's also going to be here like um, in a day or two. He's really high up at Atlantic mm -hmm. Records. And he just said that he got out of a meeting the other day where they're like, okay, now Atlantic, we're TikTok. We're focused <laughs> on TikTok. We got to make sure, blah, blah, blah. But it's just like we literally created a department. Um, it was my job to make sure um, all the influencers linked with the artists and had these unique experiences with the artists. Um, um, to bridge that gap and then uh, when we would go to festivals or shows making sure I would bring a team of people to make sure they captured all the right things mm -hmm. I would have to go to all the shows and get like um, front row or like any like it, Cardi B was performing at Dan Bozerian's house I have to go to Dan's house make sure I'm front row and get like the uh, all the videos and stuff like that make sure I get cool content of them like being unique because when you're an artist you're really not focused on everything else like me right now I want to just focus on the boxing aspect but um, since I have done that influence and marketing yeah. thing, I'm having to like, okay, well, I gotta get the, the video of this, I gotta get make sure I do these interviews, I gotta do this, but it's yeah. just like when you're when you're the person, you're not you're just focused on that. So my job was to make sure every um, other aspect of um, the the promotion and everything was right and to like I said bridge that gap between um, the artists and the influencers to make sure that we fed content to the fans in a unique way. Yeah. Do you still do you anything for Atlantic or are you in still in contact with them? I don't know if I can say that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because I saw you walking through the, the halls, the, the, like, um, you posted a TikTok uh, yeah. through the halls. Okay, uh, so... I, I, I can't I, say that again. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair, <laughs> enough. That's fair yeah. enough. Um, I don't know if you can answer this or not, but uh, what's the most famous person you've met? Um, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Probably, I don't know if Diddy's the most famous. Uh, Puff Daddy? I don't know. I've met a lot yeah. of famous people. Uh... I, I had a brain fart, I don't know. The first person yeah. that pops in my head is Diddy. Okay. He, yeah, and he's like, yeah, we, we've met a couple of times. Yeah. Times. See, um, so, okay, that's, that's just sort of TikTok and everything and your music. So, I guess, um, would you would you sort of, like, plan for any collaborations with music in future? Like, do you have anybody you're going to feature on? Everybody. Okay. I want to collab with Drake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that's the number one for both. Yeah, yeah. everybody though. Okay, so I got Lil Wayne. Yeah, exactly. That that surprised a lot. Like I was covering it at the time because I was covering like commentary as well. So, yeah. um, that was, yeah, that surprised a lot of people. So, do you think you're gonna potentially do anything with KSI or do anybody? Yeah, a lot of people compare me to KSI as far as like, um, how we talk and laugh. Like they they say like not content wise because yeah. KSI is a beast. He's on another yeah, level, yeah. bro. But I've I've done I've worked with KSI um, before, 
and um, and people always like say like we have the same laugh and like we like talk <laughs> the same at times like I'm the American version of him presentation wise you know yeah. but um, I would love to do some stuff with KSI yeah um, yeah do you He's, plan do you plan to like move to uh, do more YouTube content like regular content I want to okay I want to um, I'm I'm focused on shorts right now yeah and um, hopefully transition into more long form content honestly I've always wanted to do it it's just a consistency thing and um, you personally know how much work yes, that is. Yeah. And to having a, a job for Atlantic yeah. um, and then I do a lot of stuff. Yeah. So doing all of that and then having to focus on posting yeah. consistently, you go insane. Yeah. And um, that's one thing that I plan on focusing on um, these past uh, year or two is mental health. Yeah. So it's just like, I, um, yeah, I, I would rather be like, broke and um, happy than mm. be rich and miserable. Yeah. yeah, so do you have an idea of what sort of like YouTube content you're going to do? Mm. Yeah, just um, I want to, everything's going to be focused on the brand of showing myself like, um, of just like, I don't know, like I want to, I want to do like entertaining, I don't want to call it vlogs, because mm. I basically, basically like a reality series of my life Mm -hmm. but scripted scripted things of my real life okay so yeah like in a situation like this like i don't know somebody yeah come in their room and just like interrupt yeah, us yeah, and yeah. do some crazy stuff that we knew was going to happen but it's just like yeah i want my real life to just like entertain it on the next level okay so do you have um i guess sort of touched on this a little bit but do you have kind of I guess anything anything in the near future that you sort of want to uh, focus on past show style like do you have anything planned in like three months or something music or TikTok or um I want to do or uh celebrity boxing is talking to me right now okay so um that's possibly my next thing mm. uh, I think there's always something next yeah um you know the music is like I said I'm releasing two songs yeah um we're gonna push that hard I already have a library of content that I've already done. Like, like we do things to where it's just like, I have next month's content. Yeah, um, ready. So it's just like, yeah, I mix in all that content that I've had built up. Like I have like years worth of content built yeah. up. Yeah. And I put that out, and then I put out some of the content that I'm yeah. doing now. So um, yeah, people will sometimes notice that it's just like, yeah, my videos look like they're brand new, or they're like, you look skinnier in this one, and then yeah, it's like, yeah, you're yeah, getting yeah. late, and then your hair is and blah, yeah. blah, but it's like, yeah, I, I shed out stuff like from years ago, this year, blah, blah, blah. Like we've prepared a whole bunch of things that um, a lot of it's unreleased, never before seen, yeah. but um, I just only put it out at the right time. Yeah. So yeah, the, yeah. the big plan is consistency. And right. that's what's going to be different about Minicon this year is that I'm going to be consistent, and with that consistency, everything's going to roll in. Yeah. Do you? Um, so I don't know whether you've been following or not, but obviously Austin McBride is sort of teasing the idea of coming back uh, mm -hmm. with social gloves. Would you fight all social gloves? Hundred percent. Okay. Hundred percent. I'll beat all them kids up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll beat them all up yeah. one by one. Yeah. Would you um a social so the social knockout thing with Slim and Adam Sol as we go around Dubai the Dubai event? Uh -huh. Would you would you go to fight on that? Because some people anything have some... anywhere. Okay. I'm there. I think I might. I, I think I might, they won't, might want to have you on because they're struggling to get people over from like the UK or the US. Yeah, so. I just had a conversation about going to Dubai before y'all walked in. So yeah. Um, yeah, well, I'm I'm with it. I already have people over there. Let's, oh wow! Let's run it up. Yeah. Let's run it up. Yeah. Slim out of sight. Money kicks even. What do you money think kicks. About, yeah. What do you think about the money kicks? Mate, Floyd Mayweather. The guy who called out Floyd Mayweather. They were gonna fight on the helipad. Wait. Uh, the is that the dude that called out Logan too or no? Yes. Yeah. He's the one with like he's the son of a very rich guy mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. I have nothing to say about him, but he's doing the right thing if he's able to like reach those people. <laughs> yeah. 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 See, um, he's well. He, for a while, there were rumors that he was going to fight Floyd Mayweather on a helipad in like the uh, I can't pass the, the the big hotel. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Um. So okay. So in, you, in Dubai. Yeah, in Dubai. So um um you would fight. So you fight on any event, pretty much. You fight anybody on any event. Any event, as long as like there's money involved. But okay. it's not about the money. But as yeah, long yeah, as yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, I gotta, yeah. 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 Training, like, we don't, like, basically, I kind of don't get to make money while I'm training. No. So it's no, just no, like, no, yeah, no, so no, I have no, to no. get, like, I'm, because we make money from posting content. content. Yeah, yeah, so it's yeah. just like, during training, like, as long as you're paying for 
the time that I'm not making money, yeah, I'm down. Yeah, okay. So do you, do you, I don't, I'm not sure whether you can, well, we kind of probably know that Showstar 2 is definitely like something they're considering. Do you mm -hmm. know anything about that? You, are you going to be fighting on another Showstar event if they do another one? This is saying zero minutes, is that, what does that mean? Yeah, that just means it's, it's done. Okay. Yeah, because uh, okay. that, that card got full. Okay. Right. Yeah. okay, so I don't need to do anything, just leave it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, right. cool. Thank I just want to check. Oh, this is still, going. Yeah, this is still yeah. going, so that's okay. I yeah. just wanted yeah. to check. Yeah. So, um, so, do you know anything about Shostar 2? Potentially? Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Alright, well. I, I mean, honestly, yeah, I don't. I mean, I'm hoping that they invite me back. Yeah. So, anything that I do know, I wouldn't say. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, I think that's a good place to end off. Five days until arms, yeah. the arms fight. Um, do you want to do you have anything you want to shout out? Um, shout out to my mama. <laughs> no. Aww. Shout out to my coach, Shug. Um, shout out to everybody that's supported me through this. Um, all I can say is that. It's gonna be entertaining. It's gonna be a show, but it's like, yeah, I, I want to shout out to the haters too. You know, my <laughs> biggest motivation. Honestly, no lie though. Like, I love reading the comments of people that are saying like negative things because yeah. that gives me more of uh, feel. Yeah, I mean, it's really just uh, it's more people to say I told you so too. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. but um, yeah, the only time like people, there's literally nothing you can say to online that can ever get to me. Ever. No. Bro, this is my job. This is what I do. I've heard everything. I've been through everything. Yeah. But the only, eh, I'm not gonna say that. I'll say that. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. I, I, I know we sort of teased this, but have you got a final message to arms? Anything you want to say to arms before right. this? Because he might be watching this. Um. <laughs> Great message. Thank you very much everyone for watching. Glad to, glad to have a video on. Thank you my boy. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yes.